It's Monaco weekend, so let's roll the dice with some predictions. I've already made some predictions for this weekend, or rather they were made for me by a wheel spinner, the video for which you can check out just over here. And before I reveal my picks, make sure you tell me who you think is going to be this weekend's winner in the comments. Now it's not a done deal for Red Bull that they're going to win this weekend, as Monaco can trip up the leading teams. Back in 2004, Ferrari were at the height of their domination with Michael Schumacher, who had won all of the five opening races that year. But a collision with Juan Pablo Montoya's Williams behind the safety car allowed Renault's Jano Trulli to win his one and only Formula One race. Indeed, Schumacher only won Monaco once during his run of five titles in the early 2000s. Back to the current day though, and Fernando Alonso is feeling very confident this weekend with Aston Martin. He posted this cryptic tweet, and if I can do the maths, which I can, 28 and 5 add up to 33, which would be the Spaniard's number of victories if he was to win this weekend in Monaco. And of course, Alonso's best bet for victory will be to get pole position on Saturday, but I don't actually think he will get it. I think Max Verstappen is the most likely driver to take pole. But I also wouldn't actually be surprised to see the Dutchman lining up third on the grid on Sunday. Both Alonso and Ferrari's Charles Leclerc have the potential to outqualify the world champion, but that's assuming that A, Ferrari are competitive, and B, Leclerc doesn't find a wall for the third qualifying session in a row. Do I think Fernando Alonso will become a three-time Monaco winner this weekend? Yes, he's my pick to win the race, and my reasons are threefold. Number one, he will outstart anyone who's on pole position. I don't think Fernando's going to get pole. I think he'll be second on the grid. Number two, he can play strategy as well as, if not better, than anybody on the grid. And number three... He's Fernando Alonso. And fun fact, if Alonso does win the race this Sunday, he'll join Graham Hill and Ayrton Senna in having won multiple Monaco Grand Prix on the same date. And so to round off my podium, I'm going with Max Verstappen in second place. Cue Grumpy Max. And in third, Charles Leclerc. Hooray! A home podium for the Monegas driver, so long as he doesn't find one of the many barriers around the circuit de Monte Carlo and I think even though they're bringing upgrades to the car this weekend Mercedes are going to find it very difficult they're going to have to work very hard to fine-tune that car and work out whether it's actually working or not because Monaco is just such a unique circuit so I don't actually see them anywhere near the podium fight now that's what I think you can find out five more things that I think that will definitely happen in Monaco this weekend as well as why Theo Porcher is the man in Formula 2 around Monaco and you can find them both over here Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with people if you really, really enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Grand Prix content. And thank you very much for watching.